Hi, hello, this is Giri, teaching 10th Mathematics, the chapter Polynomials. Here are questions and solutions from exercise 3.4 and this is part 1 video. In this video, we will learn the solutions of question number 1 and question number 2 of the exercise 3.4. Here is the chapter Polynomials and this is exercise 3.4 and now question number 1. Divide the polynomial p of x by the polynomial q of x and find the quotient and remainder in each of the following. First bit, p of x is equal to x cube minus 3x square plus 5x minus 3 and g of x is equal to x square minus 2. And third bit, p of x is equal to x power 4 minus 5x plus 6 and g of x is equal to 2 minus x square. I shall repeat the question. Divide the polynomial p of x by the polynomial q of x and find the coefficient and remainder in each of the following cases. The first bit is p of x is equal to x cube minus 3x square plus 5x minus 3 and gx is equal to x square minus 2. And third bit p of x is equal to x power 4 minus 5x plus 6 and g of x is equal to 2 minus x square. Now let us solve the first bit now. The polynomial p of x is x cube minus 3x square plus 5x minus 3. And we have to divide this p of x, this polynomial, with this polynomial g of x. What is g of x? x square minus 2. Therefore, let us divide this third degree polynomial with this second degree polynomial. And after division, we have to list out the coefficient and also we have to write the remainder. Okay, let us see the division. Let us go for the actual division. We are given that the polynomial p of x is x cube minus 3x square plus 5x minus 3 and g of x is equal to x square minus 2. Now, let us take x cube minus 3x square plus 5x minus 3. Let us write the divisor here. This is the divisor. This is the dividend divisor and this will be coefficient and at last you will get the remainder. Now, let us write x cube minus 3x square plus 5x minus 3. And in the divisor place, let us write x square minus 2. We have to find the quotient. In order to find the quotient, first of all, let us divide the first term of the dividend with the first term of the divisor. Here the dividend is x cube minus 3x square plus 5x minus 3. The first term is x cube. Let us divide this first term of the dividend with the first term of the divisor. That is x cube divided by x square. x cube divided by x square. What is x cube x divided by x square? This value is x. Now, in the place of quotient, you write this x now. After writing x in, at the place of quotient, let us multiply all the terms of the divisor with this first term of the quotient. And let us write that product under this value. That is x into x square. What is x into x square? x cube. Next minus 2 into x is minus 2x. But in between x cube and x term there is an x square term. But we did not get x square term in this product. Therefore let us keep a space below 3x square term. Otherwise you write this product x cube term under this x cube term and this product minus 2x term under the x term. Now we have to go for this subtraction. Subtraction means these signs may be changed. Actually it is plus x cube. Since we have to go for subtraction this will be minus. Then plus x cube and this minus x cube will be get cancelled. Then write down this minus 3x down minus 3x square. Next this is 5x. Let us change this sign. Minus 2x will be plus 2x. 5x plus 2x is 7x. And let us write the constant term also. That is minus 3. Now this is the new dividend. We have to divide this new dividend with this divisor. That is minus 3x square by x square. Here now the new dividend is minus 3x square plus 7x minus 3. We have to divide this new dividend with this divisor x square minus 2. Again you have to use the same process. 
the process is the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor. What is the first term in the dividend? Minus 3x square. And what is the first term of the divisor? x square. Therefore, let us divide minus 3x square with x square. So that x square and x square will be cancelled and you may have minus 3. Therefore, write this minus 3 in the place of quotient and multiply all the terms of the divisor with this minus 3. Now, minus 3 into x square minus 3x square. You write that under this x square term. Minus 3x square. Next, minus 2 into minus 3 is plus 6. You write this plus 6 under the constant term. Again, subtract. While subtraction, this minus 3x square may become plus 3x square. And this minus 3x square and this plus 3x square will be get cancelled. And you can write here, no x term is there, means it is 0 into x is there. Therefore, 7x minus 0 is 7x. And this is minus 3 and it will be minus 6. Minus 3 minus 6 is minus 9. Now, finally, we got 7x minus 9. You cannot divide further. Why? Because the degree of the remainder is 1. And whereas the degree of this divisor is 2. You cannot divide any polynomial of lower degree with a higher degree. Therefore, you can stop division here. If you stop division here, then you can write quotient. Quotient is equal to x minus 3. And the remainder, remainder is 7x minus 9. And let us solve the third bit also now. You see, again, in order to solve the third bit, we wrote the question again. Divide the polynomial p of x by the polynomial p of x. And find the quotient and remainder in each of the following cases. The first bit p of x is equal to x cube minus 3x square plus 5x minus 3. g of x is equal to x square minus 2. We did this already. And now third bit p of x is equal to x power 4 minus 5x plus 6. And g of x is equal to 2 minus x square. Here is the solution for the third bit. If you look at p of x, p of x is x power 4 minus 5x plus 6. Here, there is no x cube term. And there is no x square term. Isn't it? But if you look at the gx now, gx is equal to 2 minus x square. Generally, in writing any polynomial, you should write x square term first and you can write the constant term later. But he gave in reverse order. Therefore, while simplification, all while doing the problem, let us write minus x square term first and plus 2 later. Okay. Now, if you look here. Here, the dividend is p of x, that is x power 4 minus 5x plus 6. As there is no x cube term and x square term, we wrote this as x power 4 plus 0 into x cube plus 0 into x square minus 5x plus 6. And what is the divisor? 2 minus x square. And let us write this minus x square first of all, that is minus x square plus 2 is the divisor. Now, this is dividend and this is the divisor. You see students, the first term of the dividend is x power 4 and the first term of the divisor is minus x square. And let us divide x power 4 with minus x square. Plus by minus is minus. x power 4 by x square is x square. Therefore, this is the first term of the quotient. Minus x square. You write this minus x square in the place of quotient minus x square. After writing minus x square at quotient place, now multiply all the terms of the divisor with this minus x square. Minus x square into minus x square will be x power 4. You write this x power 4 under this x power 4. x power 4. Later, plus 2 into minus x square is minus 2x square. You write this under x square term. And you subtract now. Since it is plus x power 4 by subtraction, it will become minus. So that it, these two will be cancelled. And this may also become plus, therefore it is plus 2x square minus 5x plus 6. Now the new dividend is 2x square minus 5x plus 6. And the first term is 2x square. Here what is the first term of the divisor? Minus x square. 2x square by minus x square plus by minus is minus. x square and x square will be cancelled, you will get 2. Therefore the second term of the 
coefficient is minus 2 and let us multiply all the two terms of the divisor with minus 2 minus 2 into minus x square is plus 2 x square you write plus 2 x, x square under this plus 2 x square next plus 2 into minus 2 is minus 4 again subtract this plus and this will be minus will be cancelled and then minus 5x it will be plus 4 6 plus 4 is 10 now if you observe the remainder the degree of the remainder is 1 whereas the degree of the divisor is 2 since the degree of the divisor is more than the degree of the remainder you cannot divide further therefore you can write the coefficient therefore coefficient is equal to minus x square minus 2 this is coefficient minus x square minus 2 and the remainder is minus 5x plus 10 this is remainder now look at question number 2 check in which case the first polynomial is a factor of the second polynomial by division first be t square minus 3 and 2t power 4 plus 3t cube minus 2t square minus 90 minus 12 I shall repeat check in which case the first polynomial is a factor of the second polynomial by division the first bit is t square minus 3 and 2t power 4 plus 3t cube minus 2t square minus 90 minus 12 means we have to verify whether t square minus 3 is a factor of this or not when can you say that this is a factor of this polynomial when can you say that 2 is a factor of 6 if you divide 6 with 2 if you get the remainder 0 then you can say that 2 is a factor of 6 similarly in order to say that t square minus 3 is a factor of this polynomial let us divide this polynomial with t square minus 3 if you get the remainder 0 finally then you can say that it is a factor of this if the remainder is not 0 then it is not a factor of this look at the solution now we have given two polynomials first polynomial is t square minus 3 and second polynomial is t power 4 plus 3t cube minus 2t square minus 90 minus 12 and now let us divide this 2t power 4 plus 3t cube minus 2t square minus 90 minus 12 with this polynomial t square minus 3 this is dividend and it is a divisor again let us divide the first term of the dividend with the first term of the divisor that is 2t power 4 by t square 2t power 4 by t square 2 by 1 is 2 t power 4 by t square is t square 2t square is the first term in the quotient now let us multiply all the terms in divisor with 2t square 2t square into t square 2t power 4 you write under this 2t power 4 next 2t square minus 3 is minus 6t square now if you subtract plus 2t power 4 minus 2t power 4 will be cancelled 3t cube minus 2t square plus 6t square is plus 4t square minus 90 minus 12 this is the new dividend now again divide the first term of the dividend with the first term of the divisor 3t cube by t square 3t cube by t square is 3t you write the 3t in question place and multiply all the terms of the divisor with this 3t 3t into t square is 3t cube 3t cube next 3t into minus 3 minus 90 again subtract plus 3t cube minus 3t cube will be cancelled and you may have 2t square and this will be plus 90 and it is minus 90 both will be cancelled and this is minus 12 now new dividend is 4t square minus 12 again divide the first term of the dividend with the first term of the divisor 4t square by t square t square and t square will be cancelled then you have 4 write that 4 at coefficient place and multiply all the terms of the divisor with this 4 4 into t square is 4 t square 
and 4 into minus 3 is minus 12. Now if you separate, you will get remainder 0. Since the remainder is 0, you can say that t square minus 3 is a factor of this given polynomial. Since remainder is equal to 0, t q minus 3 is a factor of 2t power 4 plus 3t q minus 2t square minus 90 minus 12. Thank you. Thank you, Ananda.